Are you ready to overhaul your editing process and spice up your projects with some of the cleanest drag and drop transitions? We've just developed over 1,000 transitions for Premiere Pro and After Effects that drop right into your timeline in a matter of seconds. So if you no longer want to rely on using Premiere's default transitions or spend countless time creating your own, let's get ready to revolutionize your workflow. All right, firstly, you can get a handful of transitions inside of our free duck pack, all in the description below. But here at Premiere Pro, we can simply preview and drag and drop the transition into your timeline that can be any resolution, and bam, a smooth, good looking transition. Alternatively, you may also double click the transition into your edit and it'll be placed at the location of your playhead. And you know, that's another cool transition and that's literally how simple the process is. Now in After Effects, you can just click the apply button and that will drop a transition in. If needed, you can easily move the transition on top of your footage just by using the cut marker on the layer. Now, there's a bunch of different categories of transitions to give you the depth that you'll need on all your projects. The categories range from a whole host of seamless transitions giving you all the styles that you'll need. Then there are glitch transitions for those that need detailed distortion for your edit and all the way down to split transitions. Also, for some bonus content, we've added sound effects, giving you the option to separately add sound to your transitions, which can help with engagement. Sounds good. As I quickly build out my edit with some more transitions, if you like a particular transition, you can literally copy and paste it to your other clips as well. Additionally, I can favorite the transition inside of the extension for future use. And after finalizing the timeline with some more transitions and sound effects, this is our edit. So it's important to note that these transitions are not just for two clips. You can easily break the transition in half by looking at the cut and then placing half of the transition over the front or the end of your footage, giving you solely an in or out transition. And yes, these will work with any resolution, whether that's you know 1080, 4K, or even vertical or square formats. But when you're working with say a vertical sequence or any unique format here in Premiere Pro, just import the transition, select the transition elements and in the properties panel, increase the scale until the transition fits the screen and no problem. All right, we've gotten a good look here in Premiere Pro. Let's jump over to After Effects for a deeper dive. One thing that I hope you notice is that the transitions in After Effects are unique from the transitions in Premiere Pro. While there's still seamless split and glitch transitions, we've added a few more categories that work perfectly in After Effects, such as ink and brush, down to my favorite light and film burn transitions. You'll also notice the variations inside the glitch and split transitions, giving you the ability to harness the full power of After Effects. However, narrowing this down, just like in Premiere, you can import transitions at the cut of your footage or motion graphic compositions and then finalize your edit. And what's cool, if you don't need the chromatic aspect of the transition, you can go to the customizer and then turn it off. It's important to note that the ink and brush transitions work a little bit differently. For example, after we import, we just need to apply the beginning of the brush or ink asset to the start of our media, then select both elements, go to layer, pre-compose and call it whatever you like. And then we can move this pre-comp on top of our other clip and boom, we have an advanced ink or brush transition. But it's important to note, if you do use the brush transitions, you can actually change the color inside of the transition layer itself, or you can turn off the brush color completely to fit the style you need. This is by far one of my favorite packs that we've made. If you do check out and pick up the pack, thank you very much because you're supporting this channel and all the motion graphic tutorials that we do. At this time, we have 74 other template packs for Premiere Pro and After Effects, which you can easily switch to and use all inside of the same extension window. So thank you for making this platform possible and always be creative.